here with uh, Tahir Bashir from Sheridan's and this week we're going to talk about live and live is quite a complicated area because uh, often you have a separate contract for each of the gigs that you're doing. So first of all, what are the m main legal pitfalls involved when you're talking about live? Uh, I guess it depends on what stage of your career that you're, you're at. So uh, ultimately when you're first starting off, um, you know, the values of the monies around live are quite small, so there tends to be less formality around agreements around that. But uh, there's quite a lot of pitfalls. The bigger you get, the bigger the production of the of the uh, the, the, the the performance, uh, the more contracts you start start ending uh, entering into. The big pitfalls are not getting paid. How do you deal with that? Uh, not being able to perform through no fault of your own, i.e. weather, or you lose your voice. Uh, what are the insurance provisions around that? Um, uh, and similarly, cancellations. And then as, it, as the tour gets bigger and overseas, then there's things like visas, withholding tax. It's actually quite complicated. And yeah, sure. I mean, I've worked on some of the biggest touring deals around the world, and in that you've got you know, hundreds of, of agreements which you know, keep on going. Yeah, absolutely. And looking at uh, international, for example, what happens if you don't get paid in uh, Romania or in Italy? Like, it, there's probably quite a lot of costs involved in trying to get the money back. Sure. Uh, I mean, if you if you've got the leverage, then you do what's called you ask for a guarantee. So that's effectively what you're saying is we want a minimum guaranteed payment for the show, which you should get paid into escrow account, which is a separate third party account before you perform. And that gets released to you after you've performed. And then, you know, uh, deals are then split up between guarantees and net profits. So anything that's above the guarantee level where the sh you've agreed a percentage of the, the revenue that comes above that, you'd want to get a percentage of that. That you, the quicker you get paid, uh, if you can even doll it up the night after the performance and get paid then, the less chances that you're not going to get paid. Sure. And people are talking about live as one of the primary uh, income streams for artists uh, in today and in the future. But the problem is that most uh, emerging artists are uh, probably lucky if they break even and uh, most of them actually lose money on the first door. So how do you deal with that? How do you try and make money? Can you Im improve uh, and optimize your touring uh, uh, set up to make some money out of it. Sure. Uh, it's interesting actually because uh, making money initially is actually all quite often about reducing cost. Yeah. So think about this. Think about your, even your management deal. Think about how do you pay your manager. Do you pay your manager on gross for live or net? You should never be on gross because then if you're making a loss on your tour you're still paying your manager the commission on that. Um, similarly if you're a six-piece band that's an, that's an expensive touring entity. So how do you reduce those costs? Do you need to have you know six hotel rooms do you you know do, how, how can you cut costs so that's that's important secondly in this day and age with social media the internet it's all about making sure the venues that you play at are filled up as yeah. much as possible and the artist has to take responsibility for that as much as you know the venue itself so you, you know use your data of your fan base uh, get that working for you use interesting sites you know that can help get artists so get fans to your your site make sure you know who your fans are make sure you collect the data after the event so that then you can build on that for the next event um, knowing who your fans are for live performances is very important because if you know who your fans are you can constantly tell them where you're going to be and you can monetize that later on through merchandise etc that's great thank you very much until next week